Okay, everyone. Hi, it's Benicia, your community outreach specialist for the Pasco Sheriff's Office, and today I'm at Chasco Middle School, and I'm going to be showing you guys a video on the campus closet that they have here. So stay tuned. Let's find out what it's all about, the beauty of it, and how all of you can help with this great program, if you're local or not. So stay tuned, and let's see what we can get into. I'm Belsi Soto. I am the parent liaison here at Chasco Middle School. Mm -hmm. And I am Corporal Hernandez. I am the SRO at Chasco Middle School. Boom, who you guys actually may recognize from a commercial that we filmed not too long ago just saying, okay. I'm Corporal Hernandez with Pasco Sheriff's Office. The reason I pulled you over this morning was because you were using your wireless communication device while driving through an active school zone. We are in the campus closet and we are at Chasco Middle School. So today I just want to learn a lot about this closet and how all of our followers can help out, what you guys need, and just basically the backstory of this here. So break it down for us. Break it down, Corporal. Okay, <laughs> the campus closet is a collaboration of Ms. Soto and I that we got together and saw what our students need. We work at a Title I school that is at 85% free or reduced, which means that 85% of our students are at or below the poverty level. So we have developed a way that they can come to us and get a new pair of sneakers, a couple pair of pants, some shirts, or even food or laundry detergent and personal hygiene items without anybody else knowing that they actually need them. How long has this campus, the, the closet campus, been around? It was started maybe three, four years ago, um, but it never really took off. Once I came back to work last year, Corporal had mentioned it to me and we started working together and it's just um, expanded and it's becoming a great addition to our school. So a lot of the things in the room come from local resources, correct? Yes, mm -hmm. um, I reached out to Target and they donated three of our clothing racks and I have reached out to the community um, mm -hmm. when I see them on Facebook um, and I have been lucky enough to have about three or four of our community members donate racks for us too and our freezer. I absolutely love that. So the freezer specifically is new yes. and I, yes. as we can see we have a lot of canned goods behind us we but do. what difference, you know, what benefit does the freezer have for you guys from here on out? Oh the freezer, we have um, been graciously accepted by um, a local pastor, Troy Peterson, who said that um, he would help us with his food donations. So uh, here we can store milk. Milk can be frozen That's for awesome. up to three months. Absolutely. And at times he gets chicken and hams. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Uh, at one time he had frozen pretzels that we mm -hmm. could give the kids. So this oh, just, that's awesome. That's yeah, smart. Yeah. So it's something that the kids can pop in the microwave mm -hmm. and heat up themselves when they're hungry. So <laughs> this gives us the ability to store some other items that we weren't able to provide earlier. I that That's a blessing. I just want to go ahead and say that. That's a blessing. Thank you, Pastor, for that part. Okay. So... Clothing. You guys mentioned clothing as well. But as of right now, it's just for our middle school students. Okay. So you are taking, and you guys still accept donations from anywhere. So if uh, one of our followers wanted to reach out and send in some stuff, it's uh, anywhere from socks, underwear, shirts, hoodies, pants, yes. and even formal items more so, because I know that there is an eighth grade dance coming up. There is. Right? Okay. Okay. And so you guys mentioned canned goods, boxed goods, but also hygiene products. Do you, what are you looking for when it comes to, you know, hygiene products? How can we help out? Shampoos, conditioners, mm -hmm. body wash, body sprays, toothpaste, toothpaste okay. toothbrushes, <laughs> Um, wash rags, towels. Oh, really, ah, didn't yeah. even, okay. Yeah, so anything along those lines. And mm -hmm. with the canned goods, kid-friendly food. So mm -hmm. you guys, they get breakfast and lunch here, but when it comes to the summer, I know you said that in the last couple of months, this is taken off, it's expanded, and it is, this room is absolutely incredible, but do you guys, are you still going to be able to help out during the summer? Oh. There is oh. a summer oh, program okay. on the campus. It's not school. It's actually the Salvation Army Boys oh, and okay. Girls Club. That's awesome. Okay. So they are on campus mm -hmm. all year long. I love that. Okay. It is. Arlene Nunez, who is the coordinator for that. And, okay. And she could actually come over here. She has the accessibility. Okay. Program. So you guys are still helping year-round? You're still 
collecting year round. Absolutely. That is awesome. Is there anything else about this incredible campus closet that you guys want the people to know about? It's a, it's a project that's that it's expanding and, and it's a project that I still have many more plans for mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. because I want this to look like a store. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm slowly getting there with my volunteers. Mm -hmm. Thank you volunteers. <laughs> Woo! Um, <laughs> Without them, I think this would not be at the point that it is right now. I love. I hope that it gets to a point where it just hearing how you guys have gone from the last couple of years to the last couple of months, that other schools are reaching out to you as well for as an example and just saying, I want to do what you are doing. Don't know if I can do it as well, but help us get there. But uh, you guys are incredible and what you're doing for the community is incredible as well. I will be sure to put information in the description below if you, any of you would like to donate. Um, clothing like you can see it shoes socks underwear uh, box goods canned goods kid friendly teenage friendly hygiene products all of it so that you can be on the lookout but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and support a really good cause and you don't have to be local to help donate we have followers everywhere and some of you come through more so than our pasconians i'm just saying but uh we will see you guys next time